It's been a personal mission of mine now for a very long time to find the longest range electric cars in the world. There's been more Tesla Model 3 sold than any electric car. It's the best selling electric car in history. And so I've been looking now for quite a while to try and find the Tesla Model 3 that has driven further on the original battery pack than any other Tesla Model 3. And it's taken me a while. I finally found it. This is the guy here is where you can kind of see all the longest range Tesla Model 3s in history. There is probably at least 30 Teslas Model 3s that have done more than 300,000 miles. And the amazing thing is battery degradation, you'd think 300,000 miles, right? You're, you're talking about now 520,000 kilometers. You'd think battery degradation would be really bad, but it's not. This is the longest range Tesla Model 3 that is currently on the planet Earth. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, when I say on the planet Earth, I mean, you know, there's probably some Tesla Model 3 floating around in space that Elon Musk shot up there in a rocket one day for fun. But anyway, I don't know. The longest range Tesla Model 3 that I know of anywhere on the face of the planet, I believe this is the official record holder has done 420,314. Uh, that's a long range dual motor, not a lithium ion phosphate battery pack. It's not a CATL battery pack. It's not a BYD battery pack. It's a Tesla battery pack with 2170 battery cells. Go figure. Here's the thing though. Tesla's 2170 batteries are way, way better than we give them credit. I have to admit, I've made a lot of videos and honestly, I've probably said the wrong thing a few times because there's really no evidence to prove that lithium ion phosphate battery packs are lasting longer than Tesla's 2170 cells. There, there really honestly isn't. The Tesla Model 3s that have done the most mileage, they're all Model 3 long range using Tesla 2170 battery cells. And incredibly, the average battery degradation, I've looked at, I don't know, at least 100, just spent way too much time of my life doing this, the average battery degradation for Tesla Model 3s that have driven to approximately 200,000 miles is 10%. Some of them have been less. Some are less, some are about five or six, some are 15, but the average across the board is a staggering 10%. I, I've never owned an internal combustion car that's lasted for that long. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, yeah, okay, well, this guy, he's, he's done 420,000 miles and, and surely he's had to replace the motors. I mean, there's, there's no way they'd last that long, but, no, he hasn't really done anything. I believe he's replaced the brake pads once, which is unusual. A lot of these people who own Teslas that have done more than 300,000 miles have never replaced the brake pads because they just use regen braking. So you don't need to replace your brake pads. And the other thing that's surprising is the upper control arms. That's the one known fault that in particular Tesla Model Ys have, but Tesla Model 3s can get it as well. It's the one real known fault these cars have. But many of them have never replaced the upper control arms, which is kind of like boggling my mind. How is it that some of these cars have that issue and some don't? Well, I don't know, but it is. The other thing that's quite remarkable is this. There was recently a news article that went viral saying the results of the study are this. The Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y and all electric cars, customers are really annoyed because the tire use is higher than their internal combustion cars. Well, I'm finding that's not the case at all here. I mean, I've been a member of the, the Tesla High Mileage Group for a long time. People are regularly saying, I've done this many miles in my vehicle. Someone just posted that they've done 180,000 miles in their Tesla Model Y. And they said they changed the tires twice. But you'd think, oh, maybe they're exaggerating, right? The problem is this story is repeated so frequently that I don't think they're lying. But so many people are saying, I'm getting 50,000 miles from a set of tires on their Tesla vehicle. So, this stuff about, you know, tires not lasting on EVs, that seems to be just stuff that's been made up. Um, it's another reason to try and, you know, convince people not to get an electric car. And think about it, right? The average internal combustion engine vehicle, the average apparently is about 150,000 miles before the vehicle just becomes too expensive to keep on maintaining. That's the average. There's always anomalies. There's Toyotas and there's other vehicles that have, you know, there's a vehicle here and there that someone, for example, my uncle, he has a, a vehicle. How you going? And he... Um, He's done, I believe, about a million kilometers in his Toyota, but it's had three engines done. So there's all these kinds of anomalies, but the average for an internal combustion vehicle is 150,000 miles. But that's why I'm saying to myself, you know what? EVs are much better value than what we realize because they're lasting for so long. 
there are so many, so many owners of Model 3s in particular who've never replaced motors, never replaced battery packs, almost replaced nothing. Uh, one guy just posted his up on the Tesla high mileage page. And he's saying that he has done 300,000 miles. And the only thing he's replaced, the only major thing is three windscreens. And the reason he's had to replace those is because there've been cracks from rocks that have flicked up from trucks and things in front of him. So uh, there's been little chips in the side of the windscreen that have meant he had to replace, but that was the only real thing that he had to replace. But this is common. This is incredibly common. Now, if we look through, I like Piano Black. Uh, he's on X, so Twitter X. He posts some of the highest mileage Tesla Model 3s on his page. Model 3 long range dual motor. There's another one here, 369,000 miles. Model 3, the one I'm just talking about, 420,000 miles, but that was now a month ago. So it might even be up to 425,000 miles by the amount of driving this guy does. There's another one here. Uh, Model 3 long range, 369,000 miles. Another one here, 500,000 miles in a long range dual motor. Uh, Model 3 long range dual motor, 300,000 miles. Model 3 long range dual motor, 300,000 miles. Another one, 500,000. Another one, 560,000. 606,000. 333,000. 638,000. 540,000. 351,000 miles. 500,000 kilometers. Uh, 300,000 miles. And none of these have had their battery packs replaced. If you really want to save money and buy one car that you can keep for a very long time or drive for a very long distance without having to replace it or having to really spend anything to maintain it, well, an electric car is by far your best option. Thanks for watching.